Fordham's Chase Edmonds led the league over the weekend with a trio of touchdown runs to go with his 110 yards rushing in the Rams' second win over an FBS team in the last three years. Three other Patriot League squads picked up wins to start the season as Bucknell, Holy Cross, and Lehigh joined Fordham at 1-0. Here are the Week 1 highlights. Fordham's Kevin Anderson made a strong debut for the Rams, scoring on his first drive to tie it at 7 against Army. And sophomore running back Chase Edmonds added a pair of first-half touchdowns to give Fordham a 27-21 lead at halftime. After Army tied it at 29 in the third, a fourth quarter to remember ensued. Anderson gave it off on the ground, some room, and Edmonds, he just trots his way into the end zone. That was too easy. Third touchdown of the night for Edmonds, and Pavlik, I don't know if that was intentional no, or not. It wasn't. He fumbled the snap, Ben. That could be a big play in this game, a two-point conversion. Now we go on for the try for two. Bradshaw can't get there. Blown up in the middle. Caleb Ham got him. Fourth and three. They've got to convert. Or this ball game will be Fordham's. Bradshaw, plenty of time. Slings it up there. Off the fingertips. Walker couldn't make the catch. So the first Patriot League team to win at West Point since Holy Cross did it 13 years ago. Bucknell's John Gerdick made a 30-yard field goal in the first half, while the Bison special teams blocked a pair of kicks to make it 3-0 at halftime over Marist. On the first possession of the second half, R.J. Nitty capped a 78-yard 10-play drive with a 4-yard touchdown run to make it 10-0. On the next Bison possession, Nitty punched it in from a half yard out to cap a 14-play drive and secure the 17-0 shutout win. Holy Cross scored a trio of first-half touchdowns to run out to a 21-3 lead early in the second quarter at Monmouth. And Connor Fitzgerald hit a pair of second-half field goals to hold off the Hawks in the 27-19 win. Lehigh quarterback Nick Shafnisky ran for 83 yards on Friday night, and his rushing score made it 7-0 early in the second quarter at Central Connecticut. He also threw for 263 yards, and his touchdown connection with Gatlin Casey on the next drive made it 14-0. The defense held on from there to secure the 2014 win. Colgate's Jake Melville connected with John Quaza early in the fourth quarter for a 24-yard touchdown, but it was the lone bright spot as Navy racked up 371 rushing yards in the 48-10 win. Lafayette cut into William & Mary's lead with a late touchdown pass by Blake Searfoss to Bobby DiPietro to make it 14-7 at halftime. But that was as close as the Leopards got as the Tribe used a pair of long second-half touchdowns to put away the 34-7 win. Georgetown's Ethan Scott returned an interception for a touchdown to open the second quarter and cut the St. Francis lead to 21-6. But the Red Flash pushed it out to 34-6 after halftime and cruised to the 48-20 win. Six teams are in action next week, including four on the Patriot League Network. For complete schedules, log on to PatriotLeague.tv. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Jimmy Johnson.